So I've shown you a lot of different features that Samsung has built into the Samsung Experience Android operating system on their own. Showed you how to save battery life, increase performance, and a lot of, a lot of, and a lot of just hidden features that not very many people know about whether they can turn them on or turn them off. I've just been showing you the features that are built into the phone itself. Today we're going to take this a step further and I'm going to show you how to install TWRP as the custom recovery on the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. So for this to work we're going to have to have a lot of stuff prepped up ahead of time. I recommend you look in the, if you're watching this on YouTube, I recommend you look in the video description, look for the link to the full tutorial that takes you to my website as I have all of this broken down into step-by-step -step processes so that you can not only skim through them and go at your own pace, but that you can follow along with me in the video so you know exactly where you should be at certain parts of the process. So to start off you're going to need to have Samsung's USB drivers installed. Um, I just recommend you go ahead and install Samsung Smart Switch. It's a PC program that will install these drivers but will also install allow you to create backups and speaking of backups, I recommend you create a backup with Samsung Smart Switch. Just go ahead and create a backup of your apps, your app data, your contacts, your photos. Backup anything you can because this is going to wipe the data off your phone. It's going to be like just like you open the phone out of the box and you're going to have to activate Android again. With that done, you're going to also going to need to download a PC program called Odin. You're going to need to download the TWRP file. Usually this is an image file, but this is a tar.md5 file for the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. Again, all of these links and all of these steps are included in the, in the full tutorial. So go to my website if you are confused or do not know where to find these files. Once you have all of that stuff done, then we can begin the process. And that process begins by booting us into download mode. And Samsung changed how to boot into download mode with the Galaxy Note 9. So, start, we're going to have to power off the device. That's just like before. However, instead, and again, this, along with everything else, is shown off in the uh, full tutorial on the website. We're just going to quickly boot into download mode. And we're going to bypass that splash screen. Once we are in download mode, we can set the phone aside because when we, then we are going to change our focus to the PC as the rest of the work is going to be done via a program called Odin. If you are sure you're willing to sacrifice those features and you're ready, we're going to click this AP button and then you're going to need to browse to and select the twrp.tar.md5 file that we downloaded. I will have the direct download link to this file on my website. All you need to do is either double click it or single click it and then click open 
and it's going to load it into the AP section. Now this is where things get a little bit tricky because as soon as we click start, Odin is going to flash this TWRP image onto our phone and then as soon as that flash is complete, the phone is going to reboot automatically. If we just let it reboot back into Android, Android is going to write over and erase the TWRP recovery. And then we're just going to still have the stock recovery. So, once this is loaded, you're going to need to grab the phone again. Because we're going to have to press and hold some buttons right after we click start. So we're going to shift focus again from here. This is all set up exactly how we need to do. The only thing I'm going to do off camera right here is click start because I want to show you how and how quickly to press the buttons on the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 once we start flashing TWRP as the custom recovery on our device. Alright, so again we have our USB cable connected. Just like I showed you, we have Odin set up. We have the TWRP file loaded into the AP slot. We're going to be clicking on the start button and as soon as we click that start button, we're gonna to need to press and hold the power, Bixby, and volume up buttons at the same time. This is a very fast process because the TWRP image file is not very big. So you're gonna see the phone reboot quite quickly after we click that start button and we have to have these three buttons pressed and held down during the initial boot cycle to boot us into recovery mode which at that point will be TWRP so again we're just gonna get ready we're gonna click OK and we're gonna press and hold these three buttons And we're going to continue holding these three buttons until we get to this TWRP flash screen. And you saw how quick that was. I clicked start. I only had a few seconds to hold these three buttons down. So it can be tricky. And it may take you a time or two to get that timing just right. From here we can just swipe the white arrows to the right to get us to the TWRP main menu. Now once we have booted into TWRP, because our phone is encrypted, we are not going to be able to install anything right off the bat. There's going to be nothing in SD card, because we cannot load data we cannot mount data try all you might data cannot be mounted so to get past this we are going to have to tap on the wipe option and then we need to tap on the format data we're going to go ahead and tap on or tap out yes tap the blue enter button and now the data partition has been formatted now you can see data can be mounted we can unmount mount unmount mount out unmount mount we have full access to the data partition now and we're going to need that because we need to flash Majisk to have TWRP permanently installed on our device. So as we are still connected to the computer with the USB cable, I have copied the latest version of Majisk, which at the time of recording is version 17.3. Um, 
in the future there might be a conflict with a current with a certain version of Magisk with the Galaxy Note 9. If that's the case, you should know that the Galaxy Note 9 running Oreo can have Magisk version 17.3 installed without any worries. Again, this may change with Pi. This may change with um, the next version after that. Whatever the case may be, there could be just a random update that comes out. So I just wanted to let you know that I am currently going to be flashing Magisk version 17.3 on my device. I always recommend that you install the latest versions, especially when we're installing TWRP or again flashing Magisk. Always try the latest versions. However, if there is a conflict and you'll know because you'll run into a boot loop, then that's why I'm including that information in this tutorial so you know at least version 17.3 works on Oreo. So since the data partition is accessible, I can just go through Windows, copy Magisk over, we tap on install. If you do not see Magisk, you might not be in the SD card folder you may be in this folder if you are just scroll down a little bit to see SD card and there's the gist now I have tried different ways of flashing no verity instead of flashing Magisk for those who do not want root access I was unable to do that. I was unable to get that working. Flashing either of those resulted in a boot loop, at least the current versions of those. Um, Magisk is the only way for us to keep TWRP installed on the Galaxy Note 9 from Samsung at this time. If you do not want root, but still want to keep TWRP installed, then you can just simply uninstall the Magisk Manager application as that controls all of the um, root and super SU access whenever you're in Android. Most people want root anyway, so it's not going to be a big deal. Just a heads up for those who do not want root access on their device at all times. So again, we have copied Magisk over. We're gonna tap Magisk. Swipe the white arrows to the right. We're gonna wait for the Magisk installer to do its thing. It's not gonna take that much time at all. As long as you don't see any errors here, you are good to go. Just go ahead and tap on that reboot system button. You can choose to install the TWRP application if you want, and you can choose to install it as a system app. I don't need a TWRP app on my phone, but it's completely up to you. So make your choice. Either swipe the white arrows or tap the do not install button. And then we play the waiting game. As this is the first boot cycle after a factory reset, it's going to take a few minutes for not only Sam for not only Android, but the Samsung Experience OEM ROM to set up everything and do its job. All we have to do here is be patient. You can see it's not rebooting over and over again. We did not run into a boot loop. This is the regular boot cycle after we have done a factory reset. 
which is what we did when we did the format data. And this is just another one of these reasons why I record the videos of the tutorials I do because of stuff like this. Installing such a major modification on a smartphone that some people spent up to an over a thousand dollars on. It can get you pretty paranoid and worried whenever it takes two, three, maybe even four minutes to boot up. So with the video, at least you can follow along. You can see that it worked for me, the exact process that I have listed on my website worked for me, and you can follow along and not get paranoid thinking, oh no, my phone is taking four minutes to boot up. Again, the reason why it's did, it did it's doing that is because we just did a factory reset. So, there we go. We are at the Samsung activation screen. I'm just going to set up Android real quick so you know that everything boots up properly and there isn't any errors. So there we have it. The tutorial is done. We have now installed TWRP on the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. You can see I have logged in. I've activated Android. I've logged into my Google account. It's doing the typical restore process. Now just know that anytime you need to boot into TWRP, you just need to go through the process of booting into recovery mode, which I have detailed on my website and will be linked to in the full tutorial for this guide and for this video. Just look in the, vi in the video description and you'll find that link or just go to androidexplained.com and go into the Galaxy Note 9 category. It's all there. Easy to find, easy to browse. That is how to install TWRP on the Galaxy Note 9.